is special. The fourth program in the series, Courtney Fadlin and Friends. The good book um, told us that on the sixth day, God the Father said to God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. So God, out of the dust, formed man. And then he breathed into the nostrils and the breath of life was given to Adam. Adam, the first man. Adam, the father of all nations. Adam, the father of all fathers. And Adam, man, became a living soul. So today, the sixth day of the year 2020, and on the 20th day, we celebrate God's creation on the sixth day. We celebrate fathers. We're thankful that you have been able to join us on this day. And we want to take you on a special journey. Courtney is joined by a number of friends. And this evening, or early morning, wherever you are in the world, because I know that some of my friends over in South Africa have tuned in, we will celebrate fathers. Stay with us as we journey through a Father's Day special. Before we go any further, let's just bow our heads and invite the Holy Spirit to be with us. Dear Father, we thank you that you are our Father. You are our Abba, our protector, our provider, our priest. Thank you, Lord, that you are all these things to us and that you created us. You've made many of us fathers, and we are truly thankful. We all have a father. And so this evening, we are paying tributes to fathers. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity. We thank you for all those who have tuned in, all those who will be tuning in, and all those who will be watching even after this show has, has, has run its course. Thank you for your blessings and for giving us knowledge, wisdom and understanding and to be able to just share because we truly care. Be with us through the evening, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We've got a, a lineup of, of, of individuals who will be coming to us as they bring to us through music their understanding, their interpretation, and their tribute to fathers. Some of them are fathers. Some will be, all of them, as I said earlier, have a father. And so we'll be hearing from them. We'll be hearing through music. We'll be hearing through words what they have to say and what they'll be bringing to us. The first person that will be coming to us this evening. Hails from the parish of St. Anne in Jamaica. And for those who don't know, Jamaica has 14 parishes it, and um, it, it, it's split up throughout the region. And St. Anne is one of the parishes on the north coast. It's known for its tourism and it's known in the interior for, um, for a lot of crops that it produces. It is a parish where the infamous Bob Marley um, hails from. And so our own Warren Brady, born into a family of musicians, comes from this parish. It's no, um, no chance that he is a musician of, 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 of no mean character. Because from an early age, from the age of seven, he has been singing. He has been entering into competitions. 
and two is 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 um, the accolades that he has received uh, are, are, are numerous. We we now want to hear from him. There is a lot that can be said, but I think that we'll leave that until we speak to him. So I just want to welcome, I'm asking you now, to welcome to this stage our own Warren Brady as he presents to us his music in song. I once, once 
was blind. But now, thank God, thank God, I can see, yes I can. It was God's grace and mercy, yeah. He came and rescued me. I Your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. Mm -hmm. It brought me through. Thank you, Jesus. I'm living this. I'm living this moment. Yeah. Because of you, 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 you. And I want. I want to thank you, Lord, God, I thank you, Lord, and praise you too. Oh, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. I want to thank you for your grace, thank you for your grace, and your grace, your grace. And praise the Lord, your grace, your grace, your grace. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, uh, Warren, for reminding us about God's grace and mercy. So tell me something, Warren. Give me a little bit. Tell, tell. About your um, a little bit about your. Do you come from a small family? Sorry, repeat it again, please. I didn't hear you. Um, tell tell us a little bit about your family. Do you come from a small family? Oh no, no, I'm from a large family. <laughs> Fourteen brothers and sisters. Woo! <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> We all uh, we all love music. Well, that, that that's wonderful. And um, what role did your father play in in all of this and in, in the, the you know helping you and the and, and the rest to to love music? <laughs> well, my father is is very uh, musical. He he plays the harmonica. And uh, he sings a, a, a little bit, but it's it's funny because um, he didn't do a whole lot in terms of music for us. We we just actually picked it up and ran with it. Um, so God has been good to us. He gave us a talent, and uh, we found a way of going uh, enhancing the talent. Hmm. Hmm. That that's very good, very good. And so. What do you see for Warren Brady and, and, and music? What's the what future? In the future? Somehow I can't hear you properly. What's, oh, What's the, future? the future for Warren Brady and music? Well, currently, um, you know, I've been singing a long time and uh, I'm, I still have prospects that one of these days I'll be, be able to reach millions and millions of people through my music because I love the ministry. I love to perform. I love to sing. I love to to spread the good news of salvation through music. So that's my hope and my desire to reach the world through music. And um, have you done any recordings? Yes, I have. I have uh, about eight recordings, eight uh, CDs, uh, DVDs. I've written a number of songs, which I have recorded also. And um, you know they're available for for the, for those who are listening and those who love to uh, su support the ministry um, on all the uh, you know all the mediums, all the um, you know iTunes, Amazon, uh, or they could call me directly for performances or for CDs. So, Warren, um, I know your father. Um, what's it like being a father? I um, to to your children. How are your children now musically? 
Oh, it's 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 a great it's a great responsibility being a father. Uh, it's a big responsibility. It's something that uh, I treasure and I don't take lightly. And also, I want to know um, that my kids somehow they have the talent. Also, they God has blessed them with, with the talent of singing and playing. My son plays the piano and he sings. My daughter also sings. They actually did an album when they were five and eight. My son was eight, my daughter was five, and then we did an album with them, a kid's album. And so they, God has been good to us. Well, and just um, I'd like to ask like this, uh, this, this, this uh, last question here. Tell, could you tell the, 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 the listeners how many different instruments you actually play? <laughs> I play... Uh, Three instruments, uh, play guitar, rhythm guitar, bass guitar, keyboard, organ. So that's four, technically. Well, thank you, Warren. Thank you so much. We thank God for your talent. We thank God that God has blessed you. And um, I know that, as, as you said, and I want all listeners to know that Warren, Warren not only does, um, does, does music for church, but if you need music for weddings, he's a person. If you, if you, um, you know, let me get Jamaican now too. If you need music for funerals, he's a person. Whatever you you need, um, he's that. Also, what he he never Book said, songs. right? He loves song, anything you okay. need, right? And and I told this too. He's a he's a great comedian. Um, you 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 can book him. Um, he's, he's, he's a one stop show. So please feel free. Uh, please feel free to 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 um to call Warren. Um, we're just gonna listen to to uh it's it's, it's a second number here. Warren is gonna take us let out. Me, let me, let yes. me share. Let me share my number with you, um, Doctor McBean. Yes. Let me share my number with you. Yes. Uh, the the phone number to reach me in case you need to reach me is two o one six five eight. Nine five two eight. That's two zero one six five eight nine five two eight. And thank you, Doctor McBean, and thank you, Courtney. Thank you, guys, for uh, putting this show together. It's awesome. I, I hope someone get a blessing from this show. Thank you. Great. And thank you. And you have a great happy Father's Day when it comes tomorrow. Please take us out. Same to you. So tell us what I can do mine So people give me that peace of mind Spirit said to me, can't let you see You can't try to turn victory Until you turn it over to Jesus Give it over to Jesus But when you turn it over to Jesus Then you can sing the rest of the way well, I drop up the troubles that are packed them tight. Said to this devil, me, are you now fight? Give it to Jesus without taking back. Please appreciate that is a fact. Until you turn it over to Jesus. Give it over to Jesus. Now, when you turn it over to Jesus, then you can smile the rest of the way. Well, you listen to you as I sing this song. Nobody's even want to sing along. But if you were so in that pain, when you got to the door, you just be same as before until you turn it over to Jesus. Come on, give it over to Jesus. And when you turn it over to Jesus, then you can love the rest of the way. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it over to Jesus, yes. Give it over to Jesus. Now when you turn it over to Jesus, then you can love the rest of the way. Oh yeah. Turn it over. Give it over. What have you went through? Turn it over to Jesus, then you can sing. Then you can smile. Then you can laugh <laughs> the rest of the way. The rest of the way. The rest of the way. Yeah.
Yes, ma. Say, smile, laugh the rest of the way. Smile the rest of the way. Sing the rest of the way. The rest of the way. Turn to the Jesus, and you can see, you can smile the rest of the way. All right. This is for one more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. One more round, one more round. Help me, Lord, to fight. Yeah, one more round, oh, oh. Hey, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more round. One more round, Lord, one more round. Help me, Lord, to fight one more round. When all my friends have to let me down, and nobody will see you now. And I hang my head to the ground. Help me love to fight one more. Somebody, one more round, Lord. Hey, one more round, Lord. One more round. One more round, Lord. Lord. One more round. Help me love to fight. When my faith started to dim. And the burden of life gets so high, and I feel like it's end. Help me, Lord, to fight. Somebody, one more round, more. Yeah. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. Help me, Lord, to fight. Listen now. That old devil has knocked me down, and he's got me to the ground. But I won't stay down. Help me love the heart one more round. You know, things are rough and tough. Corona has made us feel so down and out. But we can give God the glory. Hey, one more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. Help me, Lord. We still have life. Oh, have a song. One more round, Lord. Hey. One more, one more, one more, one more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. Help me, Lord, to fight. One more round, Lord. One more round. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more round. One more round, Lord. One more round. Help me, Lord, to fight. Why don't you help me give that devil a knuckle punch? Why don't you help me give that devil a knuckle punch? Help me, Lord, to fight. One KP Biomedical Service and Supply offers servicing and maintenance of dental, medical, and laboratory equipment. Laboratory equipment. Additionally, we provide training and after-service sales support that includes 24 hours technical support. KP Biomedical Service and Supplies have partnered with major companies in the United States such as American Dental Depot, Amicus, and Incav Medical. Our engineers are fully trained with over 30 years of experience in maintenance and repairs, offering nothing but the best service every time. KP Biomedical Service and Supply is located at 39 Broad Street, Charleston, Guyana. Call us at 225-6540 or 650-790. Follow us on Instagram at KP underscore medical underscore SS or on Facebook at KP Biomedical Services. KP Biomedical Service and Supply.
We want to thank all those who have been listening in, all those who have tuned in from all over the world. Thank you for being a part of this special evening. And we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. Our next um, guest actually has a very interesting um, uh, uh, um, bio, if uh, so, to, so to speak, you know, uh, she actually hails from the island of the Bahamas, and um, I know this is a fact that that she has one of her parents actually comes from the um, the island of Jamaica. So you know, when you get the Jamaican connection, the Bahamian connection, you know, coming together. You know, great things uh, yeah. Um, yeah. come out of this collaboration, and so here we have uh, coming to us, uh, Stacy Campbell Marshall. She has recorded and toured with a number of artists, including Donna McClurkin, um, Lauren Mulrain from the the um, um, original Breath of Life, the BB and CC Wynan, Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Kenny Rogers, and um, she, she, she's, she, she's been out there. She's done her thing. And we're happy to know that, that um, Stacy is with us this evening. And we're just now going to just turn over to her as she brings to us the song Room at the Cross for You. The cross on which Jesus died is a shelter in which we can hide and his grace of free sufficient for me and deep is the fountain as wide as the sea there's room at the cross for you there is room at the cross for you. The millions have come, there's still room Yes, there's room at the cross for you. The millions have found him a friend and have turned from their old life of sin. The Savior awaits to open the gates and welcome a sinner before it's too late. There's room at the cross for you. There is room at the cross for you. The millions have come. There's still room for one. There's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. There is room at the cross for you. The millions have come. There's still room for one. There is room at the cross. For you, 
do mil anos a deste There is room at the cross Thank you, Stacy, for reminding us that there's room at the cross for each and every one of us. It's just for us to take up our space because it's reserved for all. Um, it's yeah. so wonderful to see you. Uh, tell, Thank tell you. Us Good to see you, your, Delroy. Yeah. <laughs> tell us a little bit about your your family life, um, you know, and you know, and, and your father. Well, you, everybody knows this. I think I have the greatest father in the world, S. Peter Campbell, Dr. S. Peter Campbell. And we had an incredible childhood. I have two older brothers who are both fathers. Um, and we had a really, really good childhood. We had a very present and accounted for father um, who spent time with us, who loved on us. He's a Seventh-day Adventist pastor, but he always made us number one. We never felt like the church was number one. So I, you know, I always say I have a good, good father. It's who he is and I'm loved by him. It's who I am. And I'm married with two children and my husband is a good father. So I've been, been just blessed all around. That's so wonderful. A good father all, 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 all around. So, so yeah. Stacy, um, your musical career, you've, you, you've done a lot of things. You sat back, you've been on radio, you've been on TV, you've just done everything. And I know you're an exceptional, exceptional baker. Um, you, you know, those, those, you know, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, you know, I um, I guess I'm just of the thought that God just blesses you with different talents and you just got to run out there and just take them all in. And so I've had, uh, I would say, um, an eclectic career, if you would say. I spent um, 10 years on radio. I still do voiceovers. So that was my, I've always had this very resonant voice even when I was a young child. So I would say this voice makes me money now. And, you know, my professional degree is in marketing and public relations. And so I had a wonderful career in that. Um, one of my loves is cooking and especially baking. And so I have a baking business here in the Bahamas called Sweet Mouth. And it's been successful. That allows me the flexibility to be able to be present and accounted for for my children and for my husband and to do the things I love, like sing and travel. So, yeah, it's been great. And I just feel like Hey, if God gave you the talent, then go out there and use it. That's so wonderful. So what's what's in the future for for Stacy Campbell Marshall? Um, what, what's in it for on a music career? Well, musically, I think that I have um, one allowed fear. Um, I think to kind of take over a little bit. And so I've never actually recorded. I mean, all the singing that I've done, I mean, I went to Pine Forge, I went to Oakwood, I went to Columbia Union College. Um, I sang in the background industry, like you mentioned for many years, but I've never recorded on my own. Um, and now that I think that I've done so many things and I'm settled with my family, it is now time for me to really step out in music ministry full time. And so um, I know you know Dr. Wayne Buckner, the pianist, the talented pianist. He and I, um, we've come together to collaborate and we will be traveling in music ministry together. So anybody out there, if you need me to come and minister, you can get in touch with me via social media. Bill Roy has my information, Courtney has it. And we just plan to just travel and share the love of God and his gospel and just let everybody know that we are all, you know, a child of God and he loves us. And that's really what matters. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank and you. We will say support, support Stacey, support what she's doing, support the ministry. Our information is right there on, screen, on the screen. Please feel free. Please feel free to donate. It's, it's, it's very important to donate to our, our, um, our, our musicians, because they've given their talent and their time to serving us. And so please, please feel free to um, to, to, to give to, to the cause so that she and others can continue to go on the road and to bless us. Thank you, Thank Stacey. You. 
Um, um, happy Father's Day to your husband um, tomorrow. Thank and you. To your dad, my very good friend, and to your brothers, I, I yeah. wish you all. And um, you, yourself and your mother, you, you know, and, and the spouses will please take care of them. Um, we sure and, will. Um, uh, lovely. So, please, and what are you going to what are you going to sing for us now? Well, this is one of my brother Peter's favorite songs. Um, it's called Oh Love That Will Not Let Me Go. And this is Dr. Wayne Buckner on the piano. The song that I sang before is a local pianist. His name is J.D. Stewart, very talented. And this is Dr. Wayne Buckner playing for me on this song. Thank you. Let's Thank you. Time. Listen to Stacy. That will not let me go. I rest my weary soul to live. I give thee back the life I own. That in thine ocean depths is flow may richer food be. Forest on my way. I yield my flickering torch to thee. My heart restores its borrowed rest. That is. Thy sunshine blades its dim, may brighter fade. Oh, joy that seekest me through pain, I can. Not close my heart to thee. I trace the rainbow through and feel the promise is not vain. That moon shall. Oh, cross that lifteth up my hand. I dare not ask to fly from thee. In dust, let's glory down. And from the ground, there blossoms red. Life there shall be.
from the Bahamas, we visit the beautiful island of Jamaica, where the sun is shining, where the breeze is blowing, where the sun, where the sorry, where the sea is inviting, where the fruits are to die for. And from there we visit a young man by the name of Alex Martin Blanken. Alex is a, a full-time keyboardist and a recording artist. And his talent was found or was evident very early from the age of six. And it was discovered by a well-known Jamaican um, um, artist and musician by the name of Paulette Bellamy. He later sat at the feet of John Williams and John has been, 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 been a music extraordinaire on the Jamaican scene for many, many years. Um, and Courtney can attest to this. And so over the years, he's toured extensively with the Father Holong and Friends group and, and um, he has done things with their claim, Mezzo Soprano, Victoria, Living Good. Alex has toured and has done things with artists such as Ron Canoli, Kim Borrow, Christine Fisher, AJ Brown, Karen Smith, Sabrina Williams, um, Al Davis, Stella Lewis, uh, Freddie McGregor, Julie Moore, just to name a few. And so we are going to sit back as Alex brings to us the music of the piece, Take My Life. Alex
We thank God that Alex is reminding us that it's important to allow God to take our life. And today, Alex is asking God to let his life be consecrated as he dedicates it to doing the Lord's work. Unfortunately, um, technology does not allow us to actually speak with him at the moment. You know, um, the internet where he is, is a little um, troublesome. Uh, we're going to try, we're going to try if we can. Do we have Alex there now? Or oh, we're trying. But um, if, 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 we, if we can actually have a word with him, we will. But we're thankful that that is talent. Still having internet problems. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're thankful that his talent has been um, honest and, and horned, and he, and he's, he's it's growing. We thank Jamaica. We thank the the Edna Manley School for for the Performing Arts and especially the School of Music for having helped him develop. And we pray that he continues to develop. You can you can find Alex's information at the bottom of the screen. Please, uh, please, please feel free to donate to to his cause and to help him to continue in, along his music journey. And so we'll move to another song. Alex will now play for us, My Faith. Thank you, Alex, for being a part of this show this evening. Thank you for all that you do, and we'll continue to pray for you, My Faith.
carpet cleaning, pressure washing, upholstery service, and much more. Brandon's janitorial was created with you in mind. We clean so you can stay safe and quarantine. Special discounts for hospitals and places affected by quarantine. Contact us at 592-225-7799. That's 592-225-7799. Wow, we have been taken on a wonderful journey this evening. And we are going to continue our journey Again, in the, well, I, I was going to say in the country of, um, or in the island of Jamaica, but actually, we're going to go to New Jersey this time. But this person comes from the, the, the um, island of Jamaica, and he also comes from Satan. So it's just so uh, wonderful that tonight we are hearing from the parish of St. Anne um, in, in such a wonderful, wonderful way. So our, our next guest was born in a little, little tiny town called Brownstown in St. Anne's. And again, he grew up singing in the church. I think that that St. Anne's gives um, the, the young people a lot of, of, um, of, of room and space to grow and to develop. So from a very, very early age, he has been known as the, the man with the silky, smooth voice, a beautiful baritone voice. And for over 30 years, it has been wonderful to hear him and to hear the, the, the things that he has done. I need say no more. We know that he has, he has um, toured internationally and has done several recordings. And we're just happy to be able to hear from our good friend, the silky smooth baritone, the beautiful voice, and the individual who, uh, who, who loves the Lord and loves to minister. I now turn over to my good friend, um, um, Minister Robert Bailey, as he ministers to us with a song called Promised Land.
It's wonderful. It's wonderful to 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 see you again. It's been a uh, number of years since we've been on the road and we've toured and oh. um, together. And I'm looking forward to a time where we can get back out there. Um, I, yes. I, I, even before you say anything, man, I just want to thank you for your love and your support uh, towards uh, the ministry over the years. You have given to me personally. You have, you have uh, scolded me, you have sown into my life, and listen, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, and I love you, man. Thank you. God is good. God is good. Uh, you, uh, tell me, I mean, St. Town, Brownstown, uh -huh. I mean, you, 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 you were near the Bradys, right? Yeah, yeah, because, because I, uh, Warren brother, and I are very, cro are very close, and we made a connection years ago when I won out of Brownstone, I won the uh, male competition for Youth for Christ many years ago. Then uh, what? Migrated to Kingston <laughs> and, uh, and hooked up with, with, with uh, Tony Brady. And then we were in ministry for a number of years with, with the likes of Lorraine, Byron, uh, and, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, Nikki and a lot of mm. others, Janine. Yes, yeah, right. yeah, so it, 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 and Dale Flynn was the, 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 the man behind the scenes where he was the, 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 the one who brought all of us together as the life singers. Mm. So uh, we, we went back, uh, we, we have been, uh, 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 we, 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 we've been uh, 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 far away with, with, with the, with, with all these guys over the years. That's so true, because now you took me back way into uh, the eighties, you know, you know, the late eighties. And it's so wonderful to see that you are still ministering. Tell, tell me something. Tell me a little bit about your father. Well, my dad, my dad was a musician. I think he loved music so much. So he started grooming me from a very early age. He used to play one of the, the instruments that you don't see around much. He, he played the banjo. Okay. And his brothers uh, played in a secular band way back then. But when he came into the church, he joined the, 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 he joined the church. He, he started singing in the choir. Uh, and henceforth, when I came around, now he, you know, he started grooming grooming uh, the family to, to be a singing family. But uh, I think I was the only one who made it out. The, the others liked it, but they didn't, <laughs> they didn't pursue, mm. pursue the, the, the music mm. at all. So Robert, what's, the, what's um, on the horizon for Robert Bailey, um, on, on, you know, with your musical career? Well, you know what? Doc, I, one of the things that I want to say, I, where the Lord leads, I will follow. Because sometimes, you know, I've, I've realized over the years we make plans and we desire certain things and we, we go for certain things. But, 
you know, around the corner, you, you, you realize that the plans that you have, maybe, maybe is not the plan that God has for your life. So all I'm, all I'm doing at the present moment now is saying, I'm just letting go and let God. And said, wherever you lead me, Lord, I will follow. And that, that's so wonderful. Um, so wonderful. And, and, and friends out there, please support Robert in his ministry. Robert has been, been ministering for over 30 years now. And we know it, it's very hard, even, even now throughout the, the, the COVID time, all of these musicians live on the road. And so you can understand they cannot go on the road now. They cannot perform. They cannot minister. So they are, they are sitting there not knowing, and this is what we're doing now is as a result of, of, of um, not being able to go out there, this has come out of it. And so I'm just asking that you all support. Robert's information is there. If you feel moved, everyone should feel moved, please. Go and please support Robert. Please support all, all the artists that who, who, have, who are on this evening and just help keep them alive so that their ministry can be alive so that they can continue to allow God to use them to minister to us. We're, We're going to allow Robert to um, give him the last words. You know, if you have anything more to say. I just want to say a shout out to all the dads out there, the happy Father's Day. And, you know, just, just remember that, that we serve a God that is, will see us through any and every situation. Uh, just be blessed and know that he will take care of us. Uh, to, to all my, my friends and, and family out there, God bless you, keep safe. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see each other after this thing has passed. Thank you so much, Robert. And I say happy Father's Day to you. I know your, your, your sons are very proud to have a father like yourself. And um, you know, I, I, I wish you the best when it comes. And so you're going to take us out with one of my favorite. Yes, sir. And um, I've not heard this for some time. And I'm looking forward right now to hearing Champion of Love. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention. I want to introduce to you Here in this corner Of the good and the right Stands our champion rolled in white His height exceeds the heaven His weight outweighs the world His reach reaches everywhere his age is evermore He's higher than the highest Greater than the great No one could ever take his crown away He's more mighty than the mightiest Said he reigns from above Of love. Well, he left his hometown to enter this arena to wave his hand in victory for you and for me. But you know what, church? An angry crowd crucified this king who wore the crown. Now they gladly watch their champion. Going down 
But I would never count him out Cause I'm a witness of The day he rose to retain the title Champion of love He is a high Well, we were continuing along our journey. We'd be reminded of, of, of a number of things and just knowing that God is the undisputed champion of our love. God, our Father, the Father of all fathers, is the undisputed champion. And so we're now going to move back from New Jersey over to Jamaica. Jamaica has produced some fine artists and musicians. And so our next guest actually comes to us and from Jamaica and is living in Jamaica at present. He started to play the guitar at the age of 12. Um, again, he has, uh, he has been blessed to have gone to the Ed Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. And from there, he established himself as, as a guitarist, and has done a number of count of number of tours um, in many areas. So he has been blessed to be able to tour with the the reggae artists um, Morgan Heritage, Jimmy Cliff. Um, he's he's toured with Beanie Man, and now he's he's the uh, um, guitarist for the icon Bushy Banton. This is a great achievement, and tonight he's come to us. Tonight he's coming to us with his magic fingers. And we're gonna hear the guitar speak to us. We're gonna hear sweet melody, melodious and harmonic tones coming to us from Kenroy Mullins as he plays um, his first song, The Power of Your Love. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Kenroy, for reminding us about the power of God's love. It's so wonderful to know that God's love extends yeah. to all of us. Um, Kenroy, I think I'm in a little too back there. Yeah, all right. probably no. I'm here, you. Nice, okay, nice. right. So tell us a bit about you. Where are you from in, in Jamaica? Tell us a bit about your family. Yes, I'm from the beautiful parish of St. Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, Elders good. Elders District, to be exact. Which district? Elders District. Oh, Elders. Okay, fine, fine. And um, what's, what was your family like? What was your, your upbringing? How was it? Well, I was, I was, I'm from a musical family, and also from a Christian background. So oh. I was born in the Seventh Day Church of God. And mm -hmm. my, father is, my father is a pastor. Oh, so you're one of those um, PK after PK. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so I learned music from my bigger from my bigger cousins and my uncle. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I have to give thanks to my father, my dad. Um, he's he played a vital role in my career because he's the one who do the sacrifice to sacrifices to send me to college to learn the guitar the professional way. Mm, very yeah. good. Uh, uh, oh. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to big up Courtney Fadlin for giving me this opp great opportunity to be here playing and I have to say sir because he is one of my tutor also in college. That's that's the wonderful. So um, you, you you spoke about your your, your dad and the relationship. You had a wonderful relationship 
What would you like to say to him on Father's Day? <laughs> I want to say Happy Father's Day to the, my, the best dad in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Winston Mullins. Pastor that, Winston Mullins. That's wonderful. I, I hope Pastor Winston Mullins is actually watching right now. And um, I'm sure he will be he's very proud of you, Kenroy, and for your achievement. And we just want to continue to encourage you in what you're doing. Um, to all our, our, our viewers out there, um, Kenroy, information is right there. Please, please donate something. As we say in, in, in Jamaica, it no matter how much. Give one little something. Give the man, make the man continue to run the fingers and, and the guitar and to bless us with this, this special music. Um, that, that, that's that's in, in important. Are you, are you a father, Kenroy? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, and I like how you just said it, not yet. That means you, you intend to be a father someday. Yes. Right, and I know you're going to make a wonderful father when that time comes. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, yeah, and my fans can follow me um, at Kenroy Mullins. That's my Instagram page. Great. So you can find me there at Kenroy yeah. Mullins Instagram. So all the fans and for all the the, the 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 fans who will who those who were not fans before but will be a fan after 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 today. Please follow Kenroy on Instagram, Kenroy Mullins. Um, you'll find him there. Please support him. And uh, have, have you done any recording, Carol? Well, I'm currently working on my album now. Great. Yeah. Well, we look forward to that coming out, and we look forward to supporting you. And we want to thank God and, and bless you in your ministry. Continue to lift him up. Um, tell us what will you play for us as, as you go out. I'm going to play like a bridge over troubled water. Thank you so much, Kenroy. God bless you. Um, and uh, please, please. Give, give, give thanks to Courtney one more time. And the whole team, yes.
Are you looking for dependable service and the lowest cost for all your construction and road service needs? If so, contact us at 592-231-5876 or 592-675-6647. Those numbers again, 592-231-5876 or 592-675-6647. Six six four seven. Wow, I, I I don't know about you, but I'm still on a high. Um, I, I've not come down yet. That was some extraordinary playing. Um, and just a reminder that even the, when we go through troublesome times. There's a bridge over the troubled waters. And if we find this bridge, which has been established by our Heavenly Father, we'll be able to lay down our troubles. We'll be able to lay down the troubles by the water, down by the riverside. And we'll be able to just rest and take comfort in his care and keeping. And so we're just going to remain on that high uh, because our next guest is a minister extraordinary also. He accepted the call at the age of 13 and started his music ministry at the age of 15. He has been working zealously for the Lord and um, he has been blessed with a gift of singing and evangelizing and just bringing the good news of salvation to many who have been led to the cross. Not only does he, 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 he um, evangelize and sings, but he shares what he has been given with many young singers and guides them through their calling. He is presently living in New York, and we are happy that he's with us this evening. So we just right now want to invite our brother, Mr. Odain Roden, to come and to minister to us. And the first song that he will give us will be Jerusalem. Good evening, everyone. It's such a privilege and a pleasure to be here worshiping with you. Greetings, Courtney, on the wonderful program that you've organized. Let me just get right to it. So I want you all just to put your hands together. We're going to give God every praise. Come on, put those hands together. Oh, oh, oh. John saw a city that could not be here. John saw a city, she, oh yes she did. And John caught a glimpse of the golden throne. Tell me more about it, just go right on. She around the throne, he saw the crystal sea. Mm, there's got to be more, see what will it be? And I want to go to that city, so New Jerusalem, say Jerusalem, I want to walk your streets that are golden, yeah, and I want to run where the angels have trod to Jerusalem I want to rest on the banks of your river in that city the city of God yeah. So John saw the lion lay down by the lamb 
I want to know everything about that old John Shaw The day that he did not see night The Lamb of God Well, it must be the light And he saw the saints who worship the great I am Cry, worthy is the Lamb Say, I want to go to that city he saw New Jerusalem Jerusalem I want to rest Those streets that are golden And I want to run Where the angels have trod Oh, sing Jerusalem I want to rest on the bench of your river In that city, help me sing it, come on sing The city of God Y'all know it? Say Jerusalem That are golden yet, and I want to run where the angels, where the angels are trod. Jerusalem, see, I want to rest on the banks of the old. I wish I had a testimony in this building, in that city, the city of God. The city of God. I don't know about you, but I want to go to Jerusalem. Do you want to go with me? Do you want to go with me? Do you want to go with me? It's the city of God. It's the city of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Woo. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was live. My yes, golly, I'm here just praising Jesus. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for reminding us. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Um, I was just there just jumping up and down. I can see why you have um, shared the stage with the likes of um, Daryl Strawberry, uh, Minister Juanita Bynum, Marvin Sapp, Donald McPerkin, um, Dr. Matthew Stevenson, Bishop uh, Jackie McCorkland, and Eddie James. Um, I, I see why you're, you're the psalmist who has been on TV and all over the world. What, it, what has it been like over the years just to minister um, on, on, on these platforms? Humbling. And that, I think for me, the, the fact that I get to worship God, that's, 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 that's it for me. I don't care who is there. I, I think initially I used to be, you know, starstruck, if you want to put it that way, or timid to go after certain acts. But after a while, I recognized the only audience that I truly need was God. And if I'm guaranteed of his presence there, I don't care who's in the audience. If I want, I, I told him already, if I crack, I crack. As long as I'm worshiping God, I'm good. <laughs> that's right. That's wonderful. So, so are they, where, where are you from? The best country in the world. Oh, no, we know, we know, we know <laughs> that. So where is the best country in the world? All right, I'm from a community called Dallas Castle in St. Andrew. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. up, up, up in the hills. Yes, 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 yes. And um, how, was, how, how was your your upbringing? You know, be, at 13, being called to music, how, where did that all of that come from? You know, surprisingly... Um, 
I, I, my, 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 my mom is an Adventist, but my grandmother also goes to church, a Pentecostal church. So I used to go both churches. I go Saturday with my mom. And then on Sunday, my grandmother would grab me <laughs> and take me with her. And, um, they, 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 they taught me how to love God, how to worship through the hardest of circumstances. A friend of mine recently asked me, why is it that, how is it that you worship when you're going through the roughest of your seas? I'm like, there's nothing else for me to do but worship because That's I know right. worship will bring me on the other side That's right. of what I'm going through. That's right. That's right. That is so true. So true. And, um, um, was your father in your, in, in your life? Because I already speak about your mother and your grandma. Yeah, my dad. I'm a daddy's boy, man. I, Good. I'm a daddy's Good. boy. Everybody's a mama's boy. I'm a daddy's boy. All right. uh, my mom always argues with me because when my mom calls, we speak for a little bit. But when my dad calls, I reserve time to talk. <laughs> I'm a daddy's boy. That's wonderful. Um, and what, what would you like to say to him, you know? Thanks for being a role model. Now that I, I've seen just how much of a blessing you've been to my brothers and I, my sister as well, um, I can pattern that example of being a great dad to my son as well. Great, that's so wonderful. Um, so again, I just want to say to to all our viewers, again, as, as a wonderful ministry, as a matter of fact, before I even say that, tell us a bit about your ministry, you know, introduce it. My ministry was birthed out of a tragic experience. My brother was murdered in Jamaica. Um, we celebrated his birthday, the memory of his birthday yesterday. Um, I decided to do something positive with the ministry. I, I decided to go into the areas that are affected, like the, 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 the troubled areas with troubled youths, because my mentality was the person who killed my brother was just misguided. And, and if I can help point someone into a positive direction that's one less murderer that's one less um you know per person that we have to worry about so the ministry started from 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 that place and it has grown um um significantly i'm still in awe of the places that god has brought me to and has led me to and i believe that this is not even a tip of the iceberg to where god wants to take me um, so that's where the ministry really started from, from that place to now. Um, I am the founder of Odin Word and the Worship Experience. We have um, a full band, uh, uh, we have a choir, we have, have dancers. We, we, we do a yearly show called Shabak, and we see thousands of people coming together for, for a um, worship experience that is just um, uh, phenomenal. That's the wonderful, thank you. And viewers, Please support the ministry. I cannot stress it much more. Um, Ordain's information is right there. You've heard what he has been doing. You've heard how the Lord has been guiding him and using him. Support the ministry so like, this ministry will continue. Um, just, just as we look at the times and what has been going on uh, just in the United States, in the UK, and in other places, even in Jamaica, um, over, over the last few weeks, we know that ministries like these are so very important. You can imagine if we take this, not even just in the communities, but to larger organizations, mm -hmm. because I see that, 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 that the systematic problems that we are having need help. And we may be the ones that need to teach them how they need to live, how they need, need to, to share and to care. Um, so I'm, I'm appealing to our viewers, please support the ministries and um, please support Ordain and, and what he's doing. Uh, Ordain, do you, do you want to I'll give you the chance to say, to say something else? I know we're faced in some concerning times, some uncertain times, some challenging times, but um, as I've been encouraging everybody that, that, that I talk with, do not allow what you're going through right now to steal your worship from you. Um, um, if, if your mountain is greater than your praise, then you have serious problems. Um, there's a song that I'm about to do that, I, um, that has become my mantra for the last couple of years. And people might say, oh, you're singing too much. But the thing is, that song speaks to every level of my situation and my conviction that no matter what I'm going through, I will give God total praise. My favorite Psalm says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. 
and his praise shall forever be in my mouth. So this, if that's your conviction as well, I do hope that the song will bless your hearts. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of this, 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 this show this evening. Happy Father's Day thank you. to you. And I know that um, having a wonderful father, you, you know, that's the example that you have taken and you will take through and you are the, our wonderful father yourself. Amen. Bless Amen. us. As you, as we all give total praise to the one above. Amen, 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 amen. Now, I want you all to do something for me. If you have been going through, if you have been going through hard times, if you've been going through your crucibles, and you have committed to God that no matter what you're going through, I will give you total praise. This is what I want you to do for me. Just begin to type in this chat room right now. I'm looking right now. Just begin to type in that chat room. Total praise. Total praise. Total praise. I'm watching. I'm waiting to see y'all doing it. Just begin to tell God, I will give you total praise and do hope that the song will bless, bless your hearts. Hallelujah. Just go ahead. If God has brought you through some rough times and you're convicted that you're going to give God praise no matter where you are, no matter what's going through, what's, what's going on through, through your mind or whatnot, just begin to type in that chat room, total praise. Come on, go ahead. Let the enemy see that you are deciding right here, right now to give God total praise. Come on, go ahead. I'm waiting to see you all type in that thing. Total praise. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And just feel free to worship with me wherever you are. Hallelujah. Oh, 
And I lift my worship Do I have someone that can testify right now That God has been faithful That God has been true I bless your name God Had it not been for Jesus When the enemy came in like a flood Ah, you raised up the standard And you blew up the hand of the enemy I'm a living testimony That God has been faithful That God has been faithful You are Jesus You are Jesus I will lift my hands in total, total. I dare you to lift your hands right now. I look to the hills, Jesus. From a wench come in my help. I serve a God who is a healer. I serve a God who is a way maker. I serve a God who is a present help. I serve a God who is a I serve a God who is a provider. I said, Amen, Jesus, you're worthy. Amen, Jesus, you've been good. Amen, Jesus, you've been good. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. Yeah. Discover the soothing sounds of gospel jazz saxophonist Courtney Fadlin as he takes you to a place of peace and tranquility with his beautiful music. His catalog of albums includes Center of My Joy, I Believe, Another Chance, The Next Chapter, Hymnology 1 and 2, The Journey, and Still Standing. To purchase Courtney Fadlin's albums, contact bookings at CourtneyFadlin.com. Also available as digital downloads from most digital outlets. I, I, I'm speechless at the moment because I'm still giving praise. Thank you, Lord, that we are reminded that no matter what we're going through, we must give you total praise. So we're going to stay right now in New York. Our next artist actually comes to us from the beautiful twin islands of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, but now presently lives in New York. And we're, we're happy that the Lord has kept her safe so that she can be ministering to us this evening. She, like the others, have started a, a, a music career at a very early stage in her life and together with her sister Lauren uh, they, they, they formed a duo that was known as the Walcott Sisters and they very quickly became favorites on the you know on, on, on the Twin Islands. Um, in, in 2001 the Lord blessed them and they were able to release the first album called Sisters of Faith. I now want to give to us the voice of Minister Nisha Walcott. Let's sit back as she brings to us for every mountain. Nisha Walcott. so much to to thank God for so many wonderful blessings and so many open doors I bring the mercy So why I praise you And for this I give you all my praise For waking me up this morning and started me on my way for letting me see the sunshine 
Thank you, Nisha, for reminding us that we don't have to climb the mountains by ourselves. There's someone who will help us over, right? For every mountain, our Lord, our Father will guide us over. When we're going through the valley, our Father will be right there with us. And so we need to give him praise. We can see and understand now why Nisha has bless the stage with a number of gospel greats such as Linda Randall, Pastor John um, Lemacon, Dunnenberg Kirkin, and Kim Burrow. Do you, re do, 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 you, do you see a pattern here? Um, uh, uh, both of our artists of, of, of tonight have blessed the stage with some well-renowned top gospel artists. And we're truly thankful that we have been able to have this caliber of musicians on our show tonight. Nisha was studied psychology, but she was called to do something else. She was called to do music. And she has been in, in, in full-time ministry now for a number of years. Again, we're asking for your support support Nisha today 
Our information is is, is below. Um, you can you can support us through Zelle or you can support her through the Cash App. Please support the ministry. Um, she has a number of recordings out there, and she can be found on all 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 the major digital mediums. We thank her for reminding us um, of 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 um, of of our journey over the mountains. And sometimes we fall down. Sometimes we feel down, children, and we don't know where to turn. So Nietzsche right now will remind us through the words of the song, Still I Rise.
KP Biomedical Service and Supply offers servicing and maintenance of dental, medical, and laboratory equipment. Additionally, we provide training and after-service sales support that includes 24 hours technical support. KP Biomedical Service and Supplies have partnered with major companies in the United States such as American Dental Depot, Amicus, and Incav Medical. Our engineers are fully trained with over 30 years of experience in maintenance and repairs, offering nothing but the best service every time. KP Biomedical Service, service and, supply and Supply is located, is located at 39 Broad Street, Charleston, Guyana. Call us at 225-6540 or 650-790. Follow us on Instagram at KP underscore medical underscore SS or on Facebook at KP Biomedical Services. KP Biomedical Service and Supply. I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. Stay with us a little longer. We'll soon reach the end of our journey. Um, I just want to thank some friends. I've got some friends out there, some brothers who we've been rolling for over 40 years. Some of them are tuned in. You know who you are. Happy Father's Day when it comes tomorrow. Um, continue to do what you do. Just uh, I mentioned uh, Horatio, uh, Frankie, uh, Ruthie, all my, 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 my boys out there. Uh, let's continue to fight the fight and to keep on being your mothers and your fathers we need to be. Um, I also just want to take this, this 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 time to say hi to my wife who disappeared and left me um, a few days ago. Um, she 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 doing the, uh, the, the 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 visitation thing so. Um, she's visiting with, with, with my mother and, and, and family over there in Orlando. I say hi to all of them. Um, love you, darling. Or up and come back home. You know, you should be here with your with your husband taking care of him. But it's okay, I understand. You're doing what I should be doing. So um hope to see you soon and just take care of yourself. Moving right along. Um, we're now coming to the to the um, final section of our program. And we are blessed to have our friend and brother, the owner of, 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 of this program, Courtney Fadlin, here with us tonight. As you see, it has been entitled Courtney Fadlin and Friends. Courtney has a host of friends. For the last few weeks, we've just been, been seeing Courtney with himself, Courtney and Friends. And it has been wonderful just to be able to, to um, put on these shows. And we want to continue to do this. Courtney is going to come to us right now. And um, I know that he's, he has some, some, some good music for us. And we are going to sit back as he plays for us right now, tomorrow.
Thank you, thank you, Courtney, for reminding us that our tomorrow could be today. Welcome, welcome. And I, would, I just want to say thank you for your shows over the last um, number of weeks and for what you're doing, what you have done for ministry over the years. Uh, it, it, it's, it's so wonderful to have you and it's wonderful to be here once again another evening. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming on board, Dr. Sleepy. That's right. That's right. Well, you, you know, for you, anything. And it's, it's, it's great to be a part of, of, of this group. You know, whilst, whilst we are talking, I think we need to give a big shout out to, um, to Mark Henry behind the scenes. Mark has worked tirelessly to actually put this together. Mark, we know you're Mark, here. Mark is a genius. Mark is a genius, you know. Um, you know, um, I know some persons would text and say, you know, we can't hear this person is low. It's a lot that goes into to streaming live. Um, just before um, we came on live, I came on before five to do a check and my mixing board stopped working, which means I have to go and get a new mixing board. Just stop working. And uh, and Mark is like, OK, don't panic. Let's do so, 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 so. It wasn't for Mark. This would not have been possible. So. It's amazing the way I had to run my tracks to get it to play. And um, so Mark has been, been doing a great job. He's behind the scenes, spent hours and hours just putting this together. Um, uh, Delroy Southern for coming on board as well, um, behind the scenes. And um, just a host of people, my wife, Karen, and uh, all those who have been, um, and yourself, and just coming on board to make this, uh, these shows a possibility and a success. I, I, I was actually wondering when I came on, why what was all that going on and why what why, why he was doing doing what he was doing but now i understand right i didn't know before and uh as you mentioned your your mixing board um a mixing board like that what what what's the cost for a mixing board of that nature only 200 bucks okay okay i i i thought you were going to tell me 2000 because yeah, yeah. you know I, I was just about but you know courtney i i know that that mixing board you had was a, was a nice little one but you need to upgrade as you do more and more of this thing and I, yeah. i'm just putting it out there to our, our, our viewers tonight courtney needs a decent he don't need no 200 buck mixing board he needs a proper decent um lovely digital mixing board that he can continue to do what he's been doing and i, I want to see if we if, if if we can raise at least two thousand just for courtney tonight just for is a new brand new mixing board and to help with all the equipment that he's putting together yeah. folks I, I i i want to appeal to you right now right now i'd like you to go to to, to um excel account it's right there at the bottom of the screen it's cash up let's see we're putting out that challenge we need to raise tonight two thousand dollars for courtney to help him with the equipment. I know that he has spent over the last few weeks quite a bit on, on equipment. And of course I've been saying it and I can't say it anymore. Yeah. He cannot go on the road. He's yeah. not on the road, he cannot go on the road. None of these musicians can go on the road. So we have got to help them to continue to do their music. So I I, I, I want I, I want us all to, to start tonight, this evening, we want to raise two thousand and that's the challenge that i'm putting out there please let's Thanks. see if you want to if you want to commit you can you can send something through but we have got to raise that for courtney yeah. this evening and, and i just want to say dr dr mcbean um that a lot of persons have put into um you know even uh i'm smiling as um robert was performing because i told robert i said robert you have to buy this so robert went out he bought everything you know ordain Say Courtney, how are you sounding? This is what you had to do. I had to upgrade my uh, internet just for us to bring um, uh, to bring this platform to make it a success. Um, some of us, the reason why some of us had to pre-record our our uh, music is because we've had um, internet issues in some of the locations. If you could recall, two weeks ago when I performed, my sound was okay, but my video was all messed up because my internet speed was too low you know so there's a lot we put into it um persons think uh that we're just here because we are home we have nothing to do so let me call him up or call her up so i have to 
get my kids, the young ones, away from what I'm doing and set up and, and all of that stuff. And uh, my personal assistant is doing an awesome job and she's standing by too. So, um, um, but it's, it's, it's a pleasure just doing this because you get the text messages, persons are saying we've been blessed um, by your ministry, what you're doing, and just bringing others on board because I was telling someone, I can do this all by myself, but I have friends and I like to share. And um, so go out and support the other guys as well. And listen, I have a ton of CDs, right? And I made albums so I can sell it to bless you guys. So um, call us up, man. Uh, um, you have my information. Send emails if you don't want to do the downloads and you just want to contact me directly. I can send those CDs out. Um, they could ship out on Monday. Could ship out from here. Carl Henry can ship it out. We could ship it out from Maryland, from New York, wherever. We have CDs all over the place to bless you guys. We still have CD, CD players in cars. Some persons don't have that. You know, the newer cars, we don't have CD players. But some of us who have CD players, we could still buy CDs, you know. So, um, uh, yeah, man. But it's, it's just being awesome, sharing the gift that God has given to us. And, uh, you know. And, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, we, we spoke. Your 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 dad was, was online and um, you gave a shout out. Uh, just remind, there's, there's some, some new listeners tonight. Just a reminder for folks. Um, they, 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 you know, how important your dad has been in your life. Well, my dad, um, you know, growing up, uh, I realized how important it is to have a father because um, growing up, uh, I, when, when, whenever the question was asked, what is it that you want to do when you grow up? I always said I want to be a music teacher, a musician. And um, that just by seeing my dad teaching and performing, um, for those of you who don't know, my dad at one time played, uh, I guess, any instrument that came his way, you know, um, and uh, so I just tried to follow in his footstep, uh, playing a few instruments. And um, so I just want to wish my dad, Jethro Filbert Fadlin I, happy Father's Day. I love you. Um, my uncles and, and my in-laws, my father-in-law and um, Dr. McBean and all the fathers here, happy Father's Day. Uncle Gilly in Jamaica. Happy Father's Day and all the fathers love you guys. And um, I pray that God will continue to bless us as fathers. And we don't have all the answers, but we, we, even as we get older, we learn something new and uh, to be the best fathers and grandfathers that we can be. And just be a father to, to anyone that comes in contact with us, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, you're going to take us out now. Yeah. Um, what, are, what are you going to take us out with? I'm going to play a song entitled All For You. It was written by my friend that played earlier, Alex Martin Blanken. Alex has produced a few of my uh, songs and my re recent recordings. Um, also, Kenroy Mullins. Uh, Kenroy was a student at Edna Manley there as well when I was there. And he played in a couple of my albums. Um, so um, I think uh, Kenroy played in this song as well. So All For You. Mm. It's, so, it's so wonderful to have been here and to have been able to share tonight with your friends. Um, Thank you. Continue to bless us, continue to do what you're doing. I'm reminding people out there, we have a challenge out there. I need to see, you know, and Courtney will tell me what, what, what comes in tonight because we need to ensure that Courtney and the rest of the musicians continue to do what they've been doing and they continue to bless us. These, these programs afterwards go far and wide. They go all around the world. And many are blessed with the music. Right? So, so let us continue, continue to ensure that these ministries continue to, to, to grow and they continue to bless us. Thank you very much. Um, as, as Courtney said, my name, they say, this Bill Roman being, I don't go by that name. My name for you all is Dr. Sleepy. I thank the Lord that he has blessed me. I thank the Lord for the opportunity to be here and to be with you all. And I want to continue to, to do what the Lord blesses me um, and inspires me to do. Continue to do his work. I will continue um, to go forward and to work together. I turn over right now. Courtney. Just wanna, just before I play on my last piece, I uh, just want to thank my friends for coming on board and making this a special day. Happy Father's Day. God bless you guys and have a great weekend. All right.
we're waiting on Courtney. Uh, you know, as he said a little while ago, a little technical difficulty, but um, I'm sure we'll get it sorted out. This, my friend, is the reason why we need to give tonight to ensure that we can overcome these technical difficulties and we can um, we can we can get the, the music as it ought to be given to us. Um, hopefully, behind the scenes, they're working on it right now. And um, yeah, what, what 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 can I say? I I I think my father passed away in 2004. It, it was so funny because growing up, we were always at each other. You know, my father was a do this, do that sort of father. And, um, you know, at 17, I, I, I ran away from home and I ran to, uh, we were in Jamaica at the time and I ran to West Indies College and it became my, my avenue of escape. Uh, so I owe a lot to West Indies College, now Northern Caribbean University for having shaped and molded me and given me a tertiary education, uh, education foundation. Um, my first conversation with my father was, um, what was, 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 I would say, December of, of, of 1985. I was 25 and a, and, a, and a few months old. And I was in the UK and visited him in Miami. And that's when we really spoke. And it was so, it, it was so funny. You know, we, we chatted and chatted. My father usually goes to bed early. But that particular night, um, you know, I, 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 out, I out talked to him and he's like, oh, it was at 10, 11 o'clock the night. He's like, boy, so I go to bed early and, and so forth. And he went off and I'm like, wow, this is the first conversation that I was really having with my father. And I know for fathers out there, it's important to talk. It's important to have those conversations. And, um, you know, one day I'll be able to to continue the 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 the, the, uh, the conversation. I think Courtney is back with us, and he's ready to 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 take us on out. I'm going to now hand over back to. Courtney.